to my channel. If this is your first time here, I do handbag reviews anywhere from um, contemporary to designer brands. And today I'm really excited because I wanna share with you the newest bag that I recently got. And this bag is great because it's so understated. And unless you're part of the you know YouTube world, the handbag world, you'll know this brand for sure. But if you're just walking down the street, it's not a brand that maybe everyone will recognize. It's very understated. And for that reason, I love it. Um, and let me just, without further ado, show you exactly what I got. came in a dust bag like this. And this is my newest Senrev bag. Um, and this bag is part of their newest collection. And I'll show you guys that in a bit. So before I actually open this up, I just wanted to go through Senrev is a woman owned um, handbag company and they make other accessories. They sell like other items, not just handbags, um, but they're known for their handbags. And I love them because their quality, the quality is really great. Their price point is really great. You get the same level of um, quality as a designer brand without paying that same price point. So with that, I really, really love it. Um, they have their most popular bag is the Maestra. The Maestra comes in a mini, comes in a midi, and it comes in um, the biggest size, which a lot of people use for work. If it's a laptop, I will insert it here. Um, and then the next popular bag is their Aria belt bag. And that's the one right here. Um, and they all kind of follow the same kind of ideal. They come in a variety of colors um, and they have like new, every season they have new colors rolling in like limited edition ones. It comes in a variety of different types of leather texture. So there's pebble, um, there is a mimosa leather, which has like a, I'll insert that over here, but you can see it has more texture, scratchier. And it definitely, um, I would say is more stiff, but yet durable. They also have, um, I believe, um, their dragon leather, which is like their croc embossed kind of leather. And then they have another one, which I will uh, um, show right here, which is a buttery smooth leather that um, definitely has a more squishiness to it. I can't remember the name, but I will insert it. So those, you know, just to give you an overview, that is some of the stuff that they offer. I love their Aria belt bag. Um, I used to have one, but I gifted it and I had the one in, I believe it was like the, was it the Mosa color? It was like a yellow, really bright. I got it last summer, I believe. And I just, I think it's so great. You can wear it as a chain. There's so many different options, uh, but just wanted to kind of throw that out there. But let me just show you what I picked up. So this one is their newest edition and this is their Aluna in the mini size. And you know, they offer this particular um, style bag in two sizes. They have this one and then the regular size. The regular size, which I will drop all the sizing down there so you can see, but the regular one comes in, um, I think it fits like a Kindle, it fits a small like mini iPad. It definitely, I would say is a lot, lot bigger than this. And there are some differences too. But for me, um, my preference is if I'm going to wear it as a crossbody, I prefer smaller bags. I just think it looks cute. It looks a little bit chic. Um, and I don't want to have anything that's super big and bulky, like sitting on the side of me. I prefer that and usually like a shoulder bag. So I was a little worried that this would be just too small, wouldn't fit anything. But honestly, it actually fits a lot. And I... I I, I haven't used this bag yet, but I did obviously take it out of the box just to take a quick look at it. Um, and then I threw some of my stuff in there just to get a gauge, but I haven't really like gone through the details to see because I want to do that with you guys. So really quickly, um, this is what it looks like. It has a cute little top handle. This particular one is in the chestnut color and then it has gold hardware. So they have a couple of different, um, they have different hardware colors, silver or gold depending on um, what color you choose. So I know, for example, um, they have like this gray color. I can't remember the exact name of it, but that's with silver hardware. Um, they have like the Merlot, which is the red. I was debating between that one. That one comes in gold. Um, and then I believe like their noir color comes in gold too. So yeah, it just really depends. But this is what it looks like. Super cute. They have this like back pocket here. Again, it's not like a big pocket. It's probably just something that you can fit your cards in or maybe something on the slimmer end. But you can see that that's there. Um, and it opens. It's a magnetic button. 
like this. I still have the stickers, so I haven't used the bag yet. But similar to their signature bags, you just, you know, go like this and it opens up. And just like all their bags, it's lined with this really pretty micro suede interior. The inside looks like this. So you get one pocket here. You get another pocket on the side, a little holder here for, you know, a pen or just something um, slim. And then you have your regular, you know, a middle compartment where you can put whatever. So that is the mini Aluna. Um, and the really fun part to this is, let me show you that this can be worn as a crossbody like this, but if you wanted to, you just pull the straps like so. So yeah, and then if you pull it like this, so the padding sits on top, it turns into a super cute backpack. Okay, and I'll insert a photo up there so you can see what that will look like. I think for me personally, um, I do like using backpacks when I travel. I like it when I'm going to like amusement park or something. However, I think for me and my frame, I wouldn't necessarily use this particular one um, as a backpack because it is mini. If I were to use a backpack, I'd probably get the bigger size, but it doesn't mean that, you know, I do want to kind of use this um, maybe like on vacation or something in the future. And if I'm kind of sick of carrying some of my shoulders, I definitely would kind of just transition this into a backpack. So I just love, love, love the option. Um, and like I said, it's great because the security on this bag has a zipper too. So you can actually close it and then also put this on. So if you were traveling with this bag, you wouldn't have to worry about someone trying to like pickpocket you or get in there. Um, for me, I think it just depends if I'm not traveling. I'm just like, let's say running to the store or something just for convenience. I probably would just leave this part open. And I honestly think that's fine. And I would just probably close this part of it. So that's just me. And what's really cool about this is this part right here, you see that it's magnetic. So it just closes up really fast. You can, I mean, I can do this all day because something about it is really relaxing. But yeah, it just goes like that. So, so it's nice and neat and you don't have to worry about it going up and down. So yeah, so that's that. Let's see what fits inside. So let me show you right now. Um, I have a couple of different things I want to play around with. These are the two wallets I currently have um, from Senrev. One is a zip, zip around wallet. Um, and this is just their card case, I believe. And then they have their um, card folio case, which is just, you know, like a little slot like this. Um, you guys, if you watch my other videos, know that I've been using these two wallets all the time just because A, it's so durable, a pebble leather, and honestly, I really just like them. Um, you know, not to say I don't like the other wallets I have too, but I've just been really grabbing and gravitating towards these. But again, it's just a zipper on wallet like this. Oh, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, but there's this. And again, this comes in different leathers, also comes in different colors too, just like their bags. Um, and then this is an example of the dragon texture I was telling you about. This is an example of that. And this is in, I believe, I, I don't know exactly what color, but I'll insert it below so you guys can see if you're interested. Um, but yeah, you see there's like a middle compartment here. These slots, so I don't know if you guys use any other card slots, but if you use like, especially like the YSL or any of those other ones, it's a beautiful card case, but it's definitely takes some time for it to stretch out. And sometimes the cards are really hard to take in and out, but this one comes really flexible and you can probably fit two to three cards in here. And it's not like loose where the cards will fall, see, but it just allows you to put a little, uh, a couple in each slot. So I, that's why I love this one. I've been using this one all the time and I've been meaning to actually pick up, I wanted to get another one. Um, like I love the Chanel ones, uh, like they're spring, they have a lot of fun colors. Um, thought about that, but you know what? I just haven't really gotten around to it because on, honestly, I've been really liking using this one. As I mentioned, Senrev also on top of, you know, car cases and, and bags, they also make other items. This is the Senrev, um, candles and this really reminds me of like a diptyque or something on that level and if you guys could smell this this one's tropical fruits it smells so good and 
obviously on camera it just looks like a regular candle but i guarantee you it's definitely really nice i haven't even lit it yet because it just like sometimes i have this on my desk um when i'm working and sometimes i just will do this because it smells so good i actually have another one in my living room and that one i am using and i believe that one it's like gardenia or something. Um, not 100% sure, but I'll drop these below too if you're interested. So Senrev also does a lot of like gift with purchases depending on the promotions they're running. Um, it's seasonal, you know, sometimes it's like, you no, know, like over the holidays, they had a couple of promotions. Um, and speaking of which, she was able to pick this up too. Also come in, comes in its own dust bag, which I was super impressed about. I love... You know, you can never have too many because when you're storing your bags, you want to make sure you put it in its original dust bag. Um, but yeah, it's this one. And honestly, this is part of the reason I really wanted a Luna because look at this guitar strap. It just like gives so much edge to any bag and you don't have to just use it for this. You can use it for any. However, this one specifically matches the chestnut color. So you can see like the gold hardware. The details on this, it just it just matches really well. And they have these in a variety of color too. So again, you can wear it with this or you can wear it with this, which I absolutely love. And I will insert some mod shots of both options so you can see what it will look like. But um, yeah, I just really, really like it. So again, let's talk about what fits inside. So if I wanted to put a wallet, this is what I would consider a bigger wallet for mini bags. It definitely fits, but it will look like this. Okay, and let's say I wanted to also include, trying to think, a compact, right? I always want to have like a mirror or something with me. I'll put that in right there. That's already getting a little tight. So just to kind of give you an idea, definitely need my keys and put that okay so you just to give you an idea those three things i can stuff it in there but you know i don't want to do that because it's not realistic nobody wants to stuff their bags to the point where you can't even get it out so you would not be able to use i would not recommend using a wallet like this unless you're only carrying something um that's like teeny tiny like this and like maybe chapstick or a lip gloss or something so now that we've gotten that figure out, let me show you what I would actually carry in this particular bag. I would carry this card case. This is the Mont Blanc. This is actually my husband's and he never uses it. And one day I found it and I'm like, this reminds me of the Louis Vuitton card organizer. It's exactly the same minus the fact that it doesn't have a back pocket. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to use it. And I really like it. So I would probably put that one in there. I would put my compact in here, but that, that wall is a lot slimmer. I would put a lip gloss. Actually, you know, this right here, the compact would go in this big compartment here. So let me just show you. So see that little pocket up front? I put that there. I put the wallet in the middle, lip gloss on the side. And on this back side here, I would probably put my sanitizer. And realistically, that's all I would carry. And I would just zip it like this. And then, yeah, and it looks, it's perfect. It's not bulging. And obviously you can stuff a lot more in there, like small items. But I think for me, it's just, that's pretty realistic. And I just want to show you guys, like if you were to get this bag, you probably want to carry around the same amount. Um, and so that's what I would normally carry. However, let's look at some other options just so you guys can see. Okay. Let's say I want something even slimmer. I carry the Senrev card case. Let's say like, let's hold the lip gloss for now. What else is really important is, you know, a phone. So let's say I put in, this is an eight plus. This is my old phone. Just want to show you this for size comparison. So this is a good point because the iPhone 8 Plus fits in and you can still zip this up with no problem. It does not touch the top. But if you were to put it in the inner pockets, it does stick out and you won't be able to zip this. So just keep that in mind. Now, I have a 12 
Pro Max. I did test that in this bag and that one does fit, um, but you cannot zip it. Like you could, but you would be like almost zipping up part of your phone and no one wants to do that because they'll probably scratch the top of this. So when I do put in my 12 in here, I would just leave this unzipped, which I normally would do anyway. So to me, it's not a big deal. And if I'm going to be honest, I usually carry my phone in my hand anyway. So I don't put the phone in my um, bag. So, and if you wanted to put the phone in the back of the back pocket, you could put the phone in, but I probably would not. Um, let's just include the phone and then see what else fits. So I got the car case in there. I have, let's see, I need to bring my keys. Okay. And I want to bring a lip gloss. I want to bring sanitizer. Okay, so yeah, so this does fit everything and you can still zip it up. Something like this amount up will be a tight squeeze. Again, you can do it, but it's gonna hit the top of your items. But let's just see, you have a sanitizer in here, a phone, lip gloss, you have key ring holder, car case. Okay, and a couple other combinations I wanted to show. So this is a bigger wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Victorine. This also fits in here. But just know that again, you're gonna be very limited. I would say like, if you're gonna carry something like that, you can bring in sanitizer. You could probably bring in like a perfume on the side. Actually, no, this will not even fit with the Victorine wallet. So um, you can just get an idea of how kind of how much width it takes um, just to know that you could probably put in like a Burt's Beast chapstick or something or even like the Chanel lip gloss because it doesn't take as much room. So it'll look like that and you can um, just make sure it zips. Okay, so it does zip. But again, it bulges out a little bit over here. And for me, I think a lot of times when I watch these like what's inside my bag videos, I always think like, yes, it they say it fits a lot, but you're stuffing it to the brim. And realistically, I mean, how inconvenient is it when you get to a checkout and you're like, sorry, it's like a puzzle in there. I got to take this out. I got to take this out. And then it's like, I got to dig my hand and like look for the wallet or whatever it is. I always want to be realistic and just kind of share like what actually would fit comfortably that you would actually want to um, place in there if you were to use it on a daily basis. And another thing I forgot to show you guys is it comes with this really cute little ring that you can attach your keys to or something like that. So um, I don't know. I mean, I have my six rings. I don't Think I would be using this but again just really the details it's really cute and really nice um, another thing I wanted to point out is the bigger size one of the big differences on that minus the size obviously is the top handle so the other one this is stitched in place so you can't there's no like you can't move it up and down it can't adjust it um, I believe with the bigger Aluna if you press that down it lays um, flat against the top of this so it looks like there's no top handle. It just kind of looks like that versus like this one. Um, it is going to be like that permanently, which is, you know, fine with me. This is also adjustable. So you can see like the holes here, um, right there. I heard um, on other reviews that one of the, I would say more, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a negative or it's a con, but it is a little bit hard at first to adjust these only because the button is um, pretty tight in the beginning because the way they, you know, craft this is just, you know, they don't want to be too loose. But I think as you use it over time, the buttons will automatically stretch and it won't be that bad. Um, and then the other thing, last thing I want to call out is all of Semra bags, well, I would say most of Semra bags are made in Italy. So I want to say it's almost, if I recall correctly, and I could be wrong, but they almost, um, I think some of their stuff comes out of the same factories as like Prada and some of the other big fashion houses. Um, the Aluna, however, I noticed some of them do come out of Italy, but I think the newest ones now, the newer batch, they're all from Spain. Um, and if you look on the website, those particular products says made in Spain, but it says made 
in Spain. Which, you know, I think if I had to choose, I'd rather have it made in Italy, but I honestly, it probably doesn't make a difference because in person, this bag just feels so luxe and it's hard to tell on camera. Um, but yeah, no, you guys, if you haven't, you know, seen this bag in person, if you are thinking about it or you just want to try out something a little different, I definitely recommend this bag. Actually, I have a $50 um, off code if you spend $300 um, or more, and I will link that below and definitely take advantage um, because like I said, they just, they have so many cool items. I'm gonna insert a couple of other like wallets that I really like, and one of them looks like some other um, wallets that I wanted from other fashion houses, but I think these ones are so cute because they're, you know, colorful and they have all these different selections. Let me insert some of those options up here. Um, and then I didn't have time to actually like take off all of the um, straps and everything that this will look like. Um, so it's a really nice thick strap um, with this, you know, the colors just match perfectly. And I put this inside out, but you can see that that usually is here. So if you wanted to hang like um, a little charm here, you wanted to hang like I have the Prada re-edition. If I wanted to hang like the little um, card case over here, you could do that. Any different way we'll chain to this, you can too. You would just loop it into here or you can put it on the bottom and then string it up here. And then this could be like a gold chain um, bag too. So there's a lot of options, I think, to change up the look. So I would think like athletic, you know, kind of casual, chic. And then you have just like your standard, um, you know, really nice um, bag. And then I can't wait to use it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and share this with you. Let me know what you think. If you have it, let me know if you like this size or the other size and what your favorite leather type is um, from this collection. And again, I will insert, if you're looking to get this back, please use my code below and save some money. Um, I will insert all the information below. And if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I would love to help in any way I can. And like always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.